warmer monsoon rain stall work on a new causeway at the 148 mile mark of the Lido Road, important supply route moving closer to China. Engineers, confronted with a low stretch of terrain, which was constantly being washed out, decided on a two-mile board road elevated on piling. The piles are driven in widths of three, raising the road at this point nine feet above the lowest spot on the old roadbed. The American engineers cap the piling and lay the flooring for the wooden stretch of the Lido Road. Southeast of the road, at the site of a demolished bridge, Chinese labor builds a suspension bridge across the Salween River. It's part of the campaign to reopen the Burma Road and effect a junction of Chinese troops on the Yunnan Front with General Stilwell's forces in North Burma. Members of the Burma Road engineers give technical advice to the native construction company. Laborers cross the temporary span as work progresses on new towers and cables for the Huitang Bridge. The cable is pulled over the tower by block and tackle. Cable anchors are embedded in hillside caves. Further down the Burma Road, Chinese and American work crews combine to clear debris and abandoned equipment. Some of the battle wreckage has been blocking the road since 1942. In northern Burma, 5th August, Allied forces begin the push that followed the fall of Michinaw after the bitterest fighting in the campaign to open the Lido Road. The new drive involves the capture of Hill 60 near the important rail center at Mogong. Fording operations are necessary when deep mud and swollen streams bog down entire units. This stream is bone dry eight months out of the year. The monsoon season brings these difficulties. With all transportation facilities knocked out, supplies for the Burma troops are dropped by parachute. 